Good morning and happy Tuesday. I currently wanted to make a video real quick before I head to work for a meeting, but I wanted to hop in on a subject that I think is very personal to me and might be very personal to a few other people. So I wanted to talk about mental health. I do suffer from depression and anxiety. Most people probably do. So I thought I'd make a video and see if it will help you. Again, what I do in this video that might help me might not help you but it might so i thought i'd just hop down and make a quick video so my depression is more of i get the motivations to do my to-do list and the motivations to want to do stuff but then i can go for a day or maybe a, a week or two and i'm doing good and i'm like motivated I'm doing good I'm knocking off my to-do list I'm more active I'm not so tired but then out of nowhere sometimes trigger no triggers I am not motivated I am not doing my to-do list and I'm in this mindset okay I'm not doing my to-do list okay what is going on like I have these list of things I need to do but I'm just not doing them and then it also goes into the I don't have no motivation to do anything I don't have that mindset of okay you're knocking one thing down good whereas like that is good you knock one thing down okay you didn't knock down your whole to-do list but you knocked one day down and then there's days like where you don't knock down anything like you just want to be lazy tired and just don't want to do it and with me it's more of like um anxiety is all make a to-do list and i will literally write down everything like wake up breakfast okay what's next you need to do this you need to do that okay lunch like it's a whole list of chronically like what are you going to do that day and it's kind of like I didn't know that it was anxiety but apparently it's anxiety where you're basically planning out your whole day because you don't you basically know what's going to happen and it's like you are you it's easier for your mind to wrap around like hey okay we need to do this 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 and it's better for your mind because you know what you're gonna do for that day and i didn't know that but apparently i learned something new and i'm trying to get into the mindset of okay today is monday tuesday wednesday what are we gonna do for this day without a list just like okay what am i currently able to do because also have to fact in other things like if you're gonna work a long shift don't put cleaning your whole entire house in that day because apparently you're gonna be tired after a long day of work whereas if you know you're going to work either a later shift or you're off it's better to do those things those days and whereas you can do whatever you need to do that's not so urgent on the days you know you're gonna work harder so I've been trying to do that where it's like, okay, if I know I'm going to work at 8 a.m. until later, I'm not going to be like, okay, let me clean my whole entire house. If I'm going to work at 8 a.m., maybe I can do small things like pick up around the house or do something that is required. I kind of guess a little bit less activity and more energy but so far it has been helping just managing like what you need to do on days that are not so overwhelming and days that are less overwhelming if that makes sense and helps you guys out um also just listening to your body because i like when i don't do stuff i feel lazy and it's not being lazy is just listening to your body your body's telling me like hey you don't need to have everything planned out you don't need to do everything if you want to be lazy and you feel tired and you just 
it's not your day just listen to your body and don't do it um don't make an excuse because sometimes your brain and you are not your best friend he will tell you you're lazy all the time and you're like okay i'm just listening to my body um look for signs um that your best friend is not just making you lazy because sometimes it is just you but like okay taking advantage of that mind said that okay i'm tired i don't want to do it sometimes it's okay to be lazy and not wanting to do things but all the time because then in the end you're never gonna get anything done and then i also learned that not only does it affect your motivation and your wanting to get things done but it, it can affect other factors like me personally it affects the way i eat if i'm stressed and busy i'm not gonna be like hey let me stop for a meal real quick i want to get this thing done and it's something i personally struggle with and it's something i'm trying to slowly kind of get back into the groove of like hey you're busy you need to get things done but hey your body is hungry because sometimes my mind will tell me no you're not hungry but of course i'm hungry because my belly is growling and it's just um, it also just affects like little things like that it affects your mood some people just affects their way they like treat people like they can be the nicest person but like if they're going through a hard time they're just like sad and they don't want to talk to nobody or sometimes people take out is anger and for me that's personally how so far i noticed that it's affecting me and it's something i struggle with because it's like you're not hungry but i want food and it's like these two are not communicating so that's something i'm trying to work on and also i wanted to mention that it's okay to reach out to people like me personally i'm not a big person who would reach out i'm a more of a inside person i'm not an open book i like to keep things to myself personally things there's a lot of people things that people don't know about me still and i know these people for like a <laughs> long long time and i'm slowly learning to be okay like <laughs> You're in your head. Your head is not your friend right now. So it's time to actually physically tell someone like, hey, I'm having a problem. Can you help me? And I recently did. And it was like a mind opening because like these are things other people go through. And it's crazy. Like you think, no, no one can go through this. It's just me. I'm crazy, basically. And it was refreshing to know like, hey, like, I'm I'm going through the same thing, not the exact same thing. It might be similarities, but hey, I'm going through kind of like what you're going through. And it's refreshing to know because then it helped. It really did help me. And I am really thankful for this person. And it's just like, it might not be the exact same thing, but just know that people go through things that you may be experienced in it might not be the exact same thing it could have similar near similar similar aspects but it's good um not a lot of people want to reach out or they might not have someone to reach out i personally have a selective few people i will tell things and it's not that i don't trust the other people or they're not my friends or they're not close yes i still love them but it's just hard because especially if you're not a very open person but i do encourage to talk to someone you can trust a family member a friend um therapy i have done therapy personally and so far i currently am not in therapy due to the covid restrictions everything's online and i need that human interaction and I have tried medication um, for both depression and anxiety. It, I figure it's not for me. I have tried it twice. I have gotten to the point where I'm like, okay, I'm good. Uh, 
that's good and then we we're like okay we're doing good and it's kind of like personally my take on it is like it's a tool it's not there to 100 percent magic it's gone because it's not it's not gone there's tools and ways to help you manage and stuff like that and just taking it day by day and just taking your time and reminder that this is life it's crazy it's weird it's fun exciting unexpected but it's also a journey and that's why i also wanted to start this youtube channel to help not only people but myself and just know that we're not alone so again if you want make sure you can talk to people have my instagram and everything set up you can comment and i will try my best to help i'm not a mental health professional or doctor or anything to do i'm just a human who goes through things like this and i want to help so i just want to hop in and i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it helped and i hope it kind of gave you perspective of this crazy world and life we live in and again if you have any suggestions on any other videos if you want to see more videos like this don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i will try my best to help thank you so much for joining me and i hope you have a good tuesday and remember to take it day by day and don't be so hard on yourself you're doing great bye